Okay, so I thought I would give you guys a look at what just came out today, Ubuntu 10.10's release candidate. Okay, so basically the first thing you notice out of the box is this brand new wallpaper. A lot of people complained about the one that was released with the beta, so they took that to heart and they fixed it. It's, it's okay. I mean, honestly, people are going to end up changing it first thing, so it really doesn't matter all that much. But it is a whole lot better than the one they had in the beta, I will admit that. In addition, they included a bundle of community wallpapers, from what I understand that are all supposed to be playable, but I would assume they're just all of these extra ones that I have not seen before. So that's pretty cool too. In addition, if we go to fonts, we see the big thing, one of the brand new things that a lot of people should enjoy. Ubuntu has had their own font created, and it's called Ubuntu. And they're going to be including it by default in the final release, it just didn't make it into the release candidate. So I'm just gonna switch over to it now. And there we go, we've got the Ubuntu font everywhere that it can possibly be. You'll notice that some of the items look a little bit different. The letter N is one of the biggest ones. The, the biggest letters that should be noticeable as being different are U, B, N, and T. Because, of course, those make up the word Ubuntu. And I was talking to Alan Pope about it. He said, yes, those were the first letters they got done, so those are the ones that actually have had a lot of work done to them. The rest of the alphabet, of course, has been focused on, but Ubuntu was, the, of course, the key thing they wanted to get to look good. So, very cool that they do have their own font at this point and it does add another level of professionalism to the distro so big fan of that in addition the ubuntu software center now supports deb files so there actually is no version of gdebi installed by default if i were to come in here and type gdebi uh, you see it does not have it in its list so that's pretty interesting i'm sure people might get riled up about it but we will deal with it as time comes uh, if you do have a debian file a deb it will open in that way Alright, so I did manage to find a dev file we can test it on. Uh, one of the guys I've talked to before is developing an app called OutRec. It allows you to record just the audio coming out of your speakers. So let me go ahead and just try to install that. Let's see if we go to a downloads directory. There we go, we've got OutRec Deb. If I right click on it, open with the Ubuntu Software Center. So that's pretty interesting. Whether or not it'll work, probably not. There we go, it does not have satisfiable dependencies because it's just not ready yet. Anyway, so that's one new cool thing. In addition, the sound menu is supposed to have been improved significantly. So if I open up Rhythm Box, we discussed this a little bit with the beta version, so if you open that you see it's actually following the theme now a little better I suppose. Let's try changing the theme while this is running and see if that makes a difference. We'll go over to uh, Radiance, the other main default, or what's considered new default. Uh, yep, that seems to follow it pretty well. How about high contrast, the big obnoxious one that no one ever really uses? Unless you do, and if you do feel free to let me know. Seems to be pretty respectful of that, I like that. Dust sand, I like that, it's kind of flat matte. Yeah, the, this uh, new menu works as it probably should have the entire time. Awesome. Now in addition, one thing you'll notice that may or may not bother you is if you go into system administration, software sources, no longer there. Synaptic is, however, uh, I'd mentioned before they were supposed to be removing it for 11.04. Uh, someone misspoke, not a big deal. Synaptic is going to be around for a while, at least until uh, the software center becomes a little bit more mature they don't have any official plans to get rid of it at this point so that's pretty cool you can of course still go into Synaptic and add or remove software sources I think you can even do it from the software center but it's been a while since I've tried so let's just say edit software sources so you are still able to very cool in addition we've still got the featured and what's new section and if we go to get software we can go to for purchase and oh look this is different than we had earlier still only one piece of software available but now it's wallpapers to help testing software. I'm not going to be throwing a dollar at it at the moment, but this is definitely just showing that they do have some things on the way. But that appears to be pretty much it for Ubuntu 10.10's release candidate. Definitely a couple of little coats of polish have been added since the beta. So if you are looking to try this out, it may be worth waiting the extra 11 days or so until the final release. But if you are curious about it, it is available now and it will update itself to the final release when 10.10.10, October 10th, arrives. So try it out if you want to. Try it out in a virtual machine, definitely. Uh, but that's all for now. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.